was the son of a pizza man, the only boy who could Hey guys, before we get into the video, I just wanted to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to Alden Volker. Hello, hello, who hello, hello. just gave to my Patreon campaign and I love you for it. So he gave a whopping $20. Um, so if you don't know what Patreon is, basically it's like a, it's like a, a thank you saying, hey, I like what you're doing. Here's some money every month I'm gonna give you. And yeah, it's just, a, it's just a nice way to support the people you love on YouTube or whatever you're, you're into, <laughs> podcasts. Support people that you like making yeah, the things support, you like. Support creators because yeah. a lot of creators do this just because they love doing it. They're not getting paid for it. So every little bit helps. So uh, if you give $1, I will give you a shout out. If you give $5, I'll give you a shout out and a special whatever if you want to promote something at the end of the video i'll, I'll promote it for you um if you give ten dollars you get all that plus a custom uh, video request so you can say hey i want you to do this kind of video or that kind of video and then twenty dollars all that stuff plus a special package in the mail Ooh! so you're uh, gonna send someone a suspicious package yeah oh you're gonna how big is the package? It's not that kind of package. It's a... What kind of package is that? We, we went through this already. It's a... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you Alden again. And if you want to become a patron on Patreon, uh, it's patreon.com slash son of the pizza man. It's super easy to sign up. You just give them your um, account information and then it'll be deducted every month from your banking account and that's it. And then you support me and make me happy and then I make you happy and it's a, it's a beautiful thing. So, thank you. Thanks. On to the video. Hey guys, Enzo here, son of the pizza man. I'm here with Davey. Hi. And today we're going to be doing a taste comparison of chocolate hazelnut spread, AKA Nutella. So we have a big old jug right here of Nutella. And I went ahead and bought a bunch of other chocolate hazelnut spreads. There's so much Nutella. So we have, we have four spreads plus a so four spreads, plus Nutella, plus a homemade, uh, I went ahead and made Nutella. And if you want to see me make the recipe, uh, head on over to patreon.com slash son of a pizza man, and uh, you can check it out. All right. So, uh, so before we get into it. Uh, what do you know I, about Nutella? Well, Nutella, has been around since the 40s, technically. Oh. Not under the Nutella name. It was um, something super crema or something like that. I have never, I've never yeah. heard any of this. Um, so it, it was named Nutella in the 60s. So Nutella as we know it today is about 40, 50? 50. 50, 50, 50, 50, 60 years old. And um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's Italian. It's an Italian food product. Uh, and I uh, love Nutella. Uh, as a kid, my mom would uh, spread it on bread, like they show it on the uh, classic packaging. So my mom would give me Nutella on bread because she knew I liked Nutella and <laughs> uh, she would not let me eat it straight up from the jar. Uh, it had to be on bread, otherwise, you know, Whatever, so I eventually I got to a point where I was eating it right out of the jar. Right out of the jar. Uh huh. So, anyway. <laughs> so that's why today we're eating it right out of the right jar. Right out of the jar. Just like you used to. So, we're gonna, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna taste Nutella first, and then we're gonna go, go down the line and yay or nay the, uh, the knockoffs, I guess. The non-name brand non -name spreads. Brand. And these, these other spreads are from like, I don't know if they're national brands or, or what, but we'll, we'll find out. So, 
Let's just taste the, the straight up Nutella first. That's a lot of Nutella. It sure is. It's delicious. So the texture is super creamy. It's um, it's very fragrant. It's got that hazelnut. You can definitely smell the hazelnut and the chocolate. Makes me real happy. It's delicious. So what is the hazelnut part of it? It's hazelnut. Well, I mean, like, I think, like, when I'm tasting, when I'm tasting it, I'm tasting, like, chocolate. Yeah. And I'm tasting it's very creamy. Mm hmm But what part of it is that, what is the, is there a nutty flavor that I'm supposed to be getting out of it? It's the hazelnut. Okay, so the first competitor uh, in this Nutella slash chocolate hazelnut spread smackdown uh -huh. is uh, Justin's. So Justin's has a chocolate hazelnut spread. Uh, Justin's, I think, I'm pretty sure it's a national brand. Um, they come in a lot of their, they have a lot of peanut butter products, um, but they uh, apparently make uh, like a Nutella knockoff, so. Do you have a, is there a spot to tear it? Can you do it? Yeah. Can you do it? Do you want me to do it? Do you want me to do it? No, don't. Do it. You, now, it's, now it's wet. All right. Well, excuse us while we mouthify this uh, this little packet. <clears throat> um, that tastes like peanut butter. I wonder if there, but there isn't peanut butter in it. Well, that's interesting. It's not. It's hazelnut butter. It tastes like... It says it's chocolate hazelnut butter, which is technically what Nutella is telling you that it is. Mm, it sounds like it's butter though, so maybe the hazelnut butter... It's more of a peanut butter. It's like almond, it's like almond butter. But it's got chocolate in it for sure. Yeah. Gotta be real. Um, I'm not crazy about it. I kind of like this better than Nutella. Because mm -hmm. I like that it's like more like peanut butter and more like so it's like saltier, it's nuttier, there's like texture, it's not as creamy. Yeah. Not a fan, huh? No, Nutella's, Nutella wins this one for me. I disagree. Um, so the next one we have is Signature Select, which is like the generic uh, store brand here at, um, in, in our jewels. And I feel like Signature Select, so it's like the generic brand basically from of your grocery store mm -hmm. and um same ingredients so it smells different it smells not as like um expensive yeah even the texture the texture is like it looks grittier it's definitely not as creamy it's as more like a, it, it's more like a pudding uh i think maybe Oh, wow, that's terrible. Yeah. Um, basically, that just tastes like tastes like it's, frosting. It's like that. It's like that Easter candy, that like off-brand Easter candy that you get. Yeah. Yeah, that's terrible. Mm, that's not good. Um, sorry, signature select. Yeah, it's almost like kind of coffee-like a little bit. This was um, one of the cheaper ones too. Well, no. Sh uh, so, uh, the next one we have, and I picked this up at uh, Mariano's, which I don't know if Mariano's is national or not, but uh, it's a grocery store. Uh, the the no brand... Shit. No shit. Hey. Hey. <laughs> the, the brand is Roundies, um, which I don't know. I just like the packaging because it looks like it's like, uh, it's like drippy. So, I was, I was definitely attracted to the packaging for this one. It's just called hazelnut spread. Again, it's, it smells like the, the Signature Select um, brand. Uh, and it's, the texture's it's, closer to that too. Uh, I don't know, the texture's a little more creamier than the last one. A little more creamier? A little more creamier. This is closer to Nutella. Taste-wise, it's, it's, it still, it's not- it still, it still tastes like it tastes like uh, chocolate Dunkaroo. I've never had chocolate Dunkaroo. 
like the like the chocolate stuff from a Dunkaroo. Um, it is definitely better than this. Yeah. But whatever, there's like a chemical-y thing for this uh, signature select one that is why it tastes gross. And it's still here with this, but it's not as bad. Yeah, this is this is passable. If you can't get Nutella, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, the next one is Choco Dream. <laughs> this is from this is from Whole Foods. So if you get their um, Choco Dream hazelnut cocoa spread, it's like organic and you know zero trans fat, it's not like artificial, blah blah blah, no corn, no corn syrup. So it's all you know hippy dippy. Yeah, it's, it smell. All of these, all of these other new, other like. I think what you're probably smelling is, you don't think it's more hazelnut? I don't know. It's kind of weird. The texture is definitely like, like thicker Thick. and and denser well, than the other ones. Hmm. I get a hint of hazelnut, but. See, I think this tastes more like actual hazelnut yeah. than any of them. It's got more of that like, that nuttiness. Um, and the chocolate is more of that, um, of a, like it, it tastes more like raw chocolate. It doesn't taste this like processed, I think. Yeah. But it just has like more of like, it definitely tastes more like this, like the, like the actual like raw hazelnut, yeah. I think. You can tell, you can tell it's like, all natural and whatever. It's In general, like, it's just not as sweet either. Right. Yeah, it's not as Which, cloying as the last two, for sure. I mean, it's not as cloying as, as Nutella. As actual Nutella, no. <laughs> the last one we're gonna try, and I kind of cheated because I've, I've already tasted this, and I was not <laughs> honestly uh, impressed with this. You this can't recipe. say that I haven't eaten it yet. What's uh, wrong with you? It's supposed to. Well, I told you earlier. I was like, it's not, it didn't turn out well. Um. But yeah, the recipe I found, I had to um, s switch it up a little bit. Damn. Sorry, I'm having some these uh, these these uh, what do you call it? What are these jars called? It's like a, a jar. Yeah. Let me. Let me yeah. Get it. yeah, you got it. Yeah. Ooh. So I had to modify the recipe. Again, go to Patreon.com/slash Son of a Pizza Man if you want to watch this. Ooh, what is wrong with you? All this, all this, all this chocolate is making me gassy. Mm. So the texture is definitely um, chunkier. It's not smooth. Um, it's just, it's just different. Okay. <laughs> just like that. So. It's not as sweet. Nope. What do you think? This tastes like a granola bar. Which is to say, it tastes like the it tastes like the raw or like the cocoa powder that you use. Yeah, because you it's it, yeah you put cocoa powder in it, but it's, it's it's not sweet. It's not sweet at all. Um, um, the nuts taste like they're hazelnuts. Yeah, but they're it's very nutty. Yeah. Um, maybe they could have. I don't know why. <laughs> they, 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 as uh, in uh, me? No, I mean they, meaning the nuts. I was gonna make a suggestion about how the nuts, what they do to the nuts before, to like as part of the process, if the roasting process is longer or slower, or yeah. there's some sort of soaking thing that happens because it's very, it's very nutty. Yeah. But it's just like not as, I don't know, these two, it's, I think these two taste very similar. And, uh, and texture-wise, it's closer to the peanut butter, though. Right. With the nut so, butter. So out of these five options, which which spread would you put on your toast? Um, probably the Justin's I would put on my toast because it tastes more like actual... Uh, it tastes... it tastes like, It's saltier, basically. Yeah. It's more savory. And... Um, but the next, the next in line would probably be the... I don't actually like Nutella. Truth be told, I think Nutella's uh, overrated. Pardon me, pardon my French. Um, it is. Uh, it's get, out, get out, get out of my video. <laughs> no, get out of my video. I won't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spread the truth. Nutella that's, 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 is overpriced. 
It's like overrated garbage. <laughs> and, and, I'm sorry, but you can tell that it is because it's covered in, it's covered in Minions b And that means that it's not good. For your, if you want bang for your buck, go for this. It's Choco Tree. This is not or, a commercial. Or for... make it yourself. This is delicious, and I I would love to mix this in with some steel cut oats <laughs> and some and some almond coconut 50-50 milk. Yummo. <laughs> are you done? Are you done promoting your uh, your favorites? This. Hey, I. Listen. No, li no, you listen to me. <laughs> no, 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 I, no. I think I, I, out of these five, I love Nutella. I'm gonna pick Nutella because I grew up with it. I have like, there, it's like a sentimental thing. It brings back, you know, happy, happy, right. happy childhood memories. And I'm saying to you, but it's, it's that good. means it's that the you same are... thing, It's the same thing as like. All right. So we had a camera malfunction. So we're back. Uh, I was saying that <laughs> I... I was saying you were wrong! Basically, uh, I don't know, I was saying the same thing with Hershey's chocolate. Um, so Hershey's chocolate is, is garbage chocolate. It's not the best quality chocolate, but it's delicious and it's kind of what I grew up with and I'm not really crazy about like fancy chocolates. I mean, they're good, but I would prefer a good old classic Hershey bar or Reese's uh, peanut butter cup over like a gourmet whatever. So anyway, I'm I'm gonna declare Nutella the, the champion. Uh, <laughs> this is this is the most biased taste test I've ever been involved with. You already had, you already knew from the get-go that this is what it was going to no, be. No, I was hoping. Because this reminds was, you of your mother. No, I was hoping that one of these would taste just like Nutella or even better if that was possible. Probably not, but I was hoping that there would be a close, there would be a close second. But. <laughs> you were, you were, this is like, <laughs> is, it, is nepotism, is that, it's just biased. Nepotism is like if you're related, but you're not actually related to the Nutella. Although, I mean, I mean, by nationality, yeah. So anyway, uh, thanks guys for watching. If let, let us know, let me know in the comments um, what you prefer. If you're if you're cool with with OG Nutella, or if you found a substitute that you really like, I would love to hear what your feedback is. Uh, and if you want to get a hold of me, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, so I'm a Pizza Man and subscribe, like, share, all the good stuff. And until next time. Smell you later. Ciao for now. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever feed me was the son of a